Hello, this is the American Developer here. Today we're going to install Java and also Eclipse, a free, awesome IDE for Java, and it's free. So let's go ahead and start by installing Java. And it should just be a simple Google search for install Java. And for this case, let's do um, SDK because we want to we want to get the development version of Java so that we can actually do development in Java. So it takes us here to oracle.com and we see here that this is the version that it's going to use. Simply click accept license agreement and select the version. For me I have Windows X64. If you want to find out what type of operating system you have Let's go to the File Explorer and let's go to this PC or whatever operating system version you have, whether it's 7, 8, 10. There should be something similar to this PC. And what you'll go to is Properties, which will take you here to the System Properties. And you can see here that the system type will let you know if it's a 64 or 32 bit. So that's how you know which operating system you're using. Alright, simply click the link for which operating system you're using and it will download it and what you'll need to do after that is go through the installation piece. And for me, I would show you but on mine, I, my recording tool is using Java and it requires me to destroy my recording program so for that reason that's why you won't see me install it myself but that's what you'll do to get Java installed on your machine and the next step would be getting an IDE so the the one I've enjoyed the most when it comes to for a IDE for Java it's called a Eclipse so let's go to Eclipse download and by the way I'll include these in the description of course the, I usually do those in my instructional videos include the links to where we should find the correct stuff so let's go to Eclipse download actually let's do, let's do a more specified search Eclipse Java developer download so here's Eclipse IDE for Java developers. And you'll see here that it takes us to this page. And once again, whatever operating system you use, I, I have a 64 bit. So now it's downloading it right now. So I already have it downloaded. So. That was mainly just to show you what to do for that. And you'll see that it is only a zip file. So you'll need WinRAR, 7-zip, whatever software that can unzip this. And what you'll do is simply drag this Eclipse folder. I drag the Eclipse folder over to the desktop or wherever location you want to go. Then after that open up your unzipped folder and just double click on Eclipse and it will load it up and um, I have Kepler that's the type of Eclipse that you should have and you see here we have our Eclipse turned on and what we're going to do is create just a simple project to make sure that Java is installed correctly so you go to new Java project project name will be test 03 that's what I'm gonna call it you can name it whatever you want Yep, and that sounds about right so you click next then click finish and then if you expand this section here you'll see the source folder right click press new and then click on class and the name will be main 
and you got to capitalize it for name and convention purposes so this class will be named main nothing really that exciting so I have my public class main and in order just to do a simple test for Java here is your main uh, function here so public static void main with the parameter of string which is an array args and then you do system dot out dot print ln or without the ln and I'll do hey I'll do hello world that's a classic all right we've written this out now to test it simply click on the run button here and it'll uh, Eclipse will pop up this window which will ask which resource you want to save and what you want to run so you click OK there and then you see that it says hello world so Java has been successfully set up on your machine and you have Eclipse which is a nice easy simple but free IDE for Java hope you enjoyed this video please comment subscribe thank you very much